In this series, we analyse teams, identify problem areas and suggest solutions in the form of incoming players. We don't follow gossip, rumours or conjecture. We're concerned only with the players' on-field performance and their suitability for the role in question. Today's team is Everton. Welcome to Sensible Transfers. If Everton fans were worried about the style of football their team were playing under Frank Lampard at the end of last season, their fears might be allayed by talk of a playstyle shift that is taking place this summer at Goodison Park. Through the course of pre-season, Everton players have talked of a move from the more pragmatic approach that was adopted in last season's relegation battle towards a more possession-based system next season. Lampard has already made big steps towards being able to make this shift in playstyle by bringing in James Tarkovsky on a free transfer from Burnley earlier in the summer. Although his qualities in possession have perhaps not been showcased too often during his time at Turf Moor, Tarkovsky raises the level for ball-playing centre-backs at the club and presents a platform upon which to build a more possession-based style. Everton will also need to improve in the midfield area if they are to develop that more possession-heavy approach next season. Under Lampard, Everton have tended to line up in a 3-4-3 with a midfield two of Abdoulaye Decoré and Alan were available. Behind Alan, Everton have Jean-Philippe Gabamin as a depth option who's coming back to the club after a good loan spell in Russia with Jessica Moscow. Decoré's backups are André Gomez and Tom Davies, neither of whom have really thrived in the Everton midfield. The rotation option for Decoré would be a smart area to recruit for next season. Now the club clearly feel that improvement in this area is possible, having been linked to Sporting's Matthias Nunez and more recently Harry Winks of Tottenham. There are a couple of good options on the market who would fit the sort of profile that Everton need if they're to shift to a more possessional side. Chelsea's Ruben Loftus-Cheek makes an enticing prospect here. First and foremost, Loftus-Cheek is a ball carrier. In the last year, he's in the 99th percentile for both progressive carrying distance and progressive carries, putting up 59.11 carries per 90 minutes in the course of the year. He's also in the 99th percentile for midfielders in dribbles attempted, dribbles completed and players dribbled past, attributes that help him evade an opposition press and make him perfect for a team looking to possess the ball. Thanks to his height and physicality, he's also a decent option aerially in the midfield, However, Loftus-Cheek offers a profile that Everton already have in their squad, even if he would be an upgrade on those options. So instead, our pick is a player who can offer a little more in terms of creative passing, Real Madrid's Danny Ceballos. Ceballos is also a player who offers a lot in terms of possession. Rather than doing this through carrying, though, he does it through passing. The 25-year-old is a deep-lying player who's played in a two-man pivot in the past. From these deeper areas, he's able to coordinate ball progression through his passing. On top of this, Ceballos can offer something that Everton have been missing over the past couple of seasons, a creative outlet in the final third. Importantly, the Spaniard already has Premier League experience, joining Arsenal on loan for two seasons between 2019 and 2021. During that time, he offered good protection, putting up 3.5 box entries per 90 in both seasons and hitting 0.14 expected assists in his second season at the Emirates. Tobias would be a feasible option for Everton too. He's on a 2023 contract and he picks up fewer than 300 league minutes last season for Real Madrid. One of the highest profile signings in the Premier League this summer has been the transfer of Richarlison to Tottenham Hotspur for a fee of around £50 million. This presents Everton with an obvious area to sign a replacement. And practically, they need to find a player who can play anywhere across the front line, a player who is mobile and able to replicate Richarlison's skill set. Ball carrying, dribbling, winning fouls and taking chances. Red Bull Salzburg's Noah Okafor fits this profile nicely. The Swiss winger can play on either side and is played up front in a strike partnership for Salzburg. A mobile technical player, Okafor has thrived in the forward position within a Red Bull system, picking up 0.29 expected goals and 0.2 expected assists per 90 this season. Moving from a high-intensity transitional system to a more possessional style might not benefit Okafor, but he does have 400 minutes of Champions League experience to his name after last season. He's on a 2024 contract, but he hasn't been a full-time starter for Salzburg which might be an issue for Everton given that they're looking to replace one of their better players with this deal. Borussia Dortmund's interest in the youngster might dispel that worry though. But our pick for a sensible transfer here is Omar Mamouche, 
an Egyptian playing for Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga. Mamouche has spent the past two seasons on loan at St Pauli and Stuttgart respectively, playing as a striker on both sides as well as picking up minutes on either wing. He's a good ball carrier and wins a lot of fouls for his team through dribbling the ball. Off the ball, he also offers good upside through high pressing and other defensive actions, and most importantly for Everton, he gets into good positions in front of goal. All of these make him the perfect replacement for Richarlison and a better option than Okafor. Last season, Stuttgart narrowly avoided relegation, but that didn't stop Marmouche putting up good expected goals numbers at a rate of 0.27 per 90. He did underperform this figure in actual goals, but it's worth noting that Stuttgart only scored 41 goals in 34 Bundesliga games last season and that they were without a proper target man in attack for most of the year after Sasha Kolasic suffered a serious injury. Mamouche is on a contract which ends in 2023, which would make him very available for Everton, meaning now could be the time for the Merseyside club to try and bring the 23-year-old in. He's also successfully made the step up from the Zweite Bundesliga to the Bundesliga, suggesting that he could well scale again should he need to make the step up to the Premier League. If you'd like to see sensible transfers for your team, then you are in luck, because we've written sensible transfers articles for every team in the Premier League and publish them on The Athletic. To read them, you can get a 30-day free trial for The Athletic by clicking the link in the description. Thanks for watching today's video.